Hi, my name is Tom Anning, and I'm a chemistry professor at Valdosta State University. My passion is teaching, but not in a normal sense. I work with students often on projects in classes as opposed to just doing work at the board or on a PowerPoint slide. Our projects are what we call peer-reviewed projects, meaning if the student is successful and the project is successful, it's something that we can publish in a journal or that we can file and win a United States patent. We've been successful with both of them. Our projects include oyster restoration, coral restoration, the development of a synthesis for a drug called bryostatin, the development of new cancer drugs or a new group of cancer drugs, and a development of a new method to over overcome antibiotic resistance for tuberculosis. Let me tell you about bryostatin first. Bryostatin is a very difficult molecule to synthesize and some of the world's top organic chemistry groups have been working on it. We cannot compete with what they do. Right? We cannot do with a PhD program with a bunch of top-notch graduate students working 80 hours a week with some of the world's best, best technology can do. What we can do though is to make bryostatin use a bacteria that lives in the ocean. We've developed a method we call pharmaceutical aquaculture where we actually grow the bacteria in the ocean bring it back to the lab and harvest it. It's much cheaper, much quicker, and far more economical than doing something in a lab. Another example is our cancer drugs. We've had 20 cancer drugs, new cancer drugs developed in our lab, which are synthesized by undergraduate students that have entered preclinical trials. Many of these have been a complex that we've been slowly adjusting and making it better and better. Right, right now we're focused on it being used for cervical cancer that's caused by HPV, which is a growing problem in developing countries. Last year, over 300,000 women died from cervical cancer. Many of the drugs in the United States are beyond their control or beyond their price. Finally, I'd like to tell you about antibiotics. Tuberculosis is one of the great killers in the history of humanity. Currently, there are over two billion people worldwide that have TB. Most of them have latent TB, but a growing concern now is resistant strands of tuberculosis. Drug resistant, multi-drug resistant, extensively drug resistant, totally drug resistant. We were able to take existing antibiotics, molecules that you can already buy, and reformulate them and make them work again against drug resistant and a TB. This went through preclinical trials at a national lab, and we won a US patent on a new type of technology. The key point here is all of these things were made by undergraduates working 10, 15, 20 hours a week. What we did was we went back and rethought these problems and said, how can we get undergraduates to do this? And if an undergraduate can do it in a lab at Valdosta State, then it can be done easily and economically in a lab in the third world or a developing country. Thank you very much for your time and effort.